Hi guys, welcome to the video number 219 and uh, in this video uh, I'm going to educate you about the do loop which is a very very useful loop, very famous loop actually in Excel VBA. We use it, uh, you know, we use it a lot and if you would have seen my all the uh, the videos on the collection loops and on the, uh, you know, the other loops actually, uh, you would find that how useful they are and how powerful they are, right? So I have recently started the series uh, in order to, you know, give you a basic understanding on the loops because many of you have you know emailed me in the past that uh, you're watching the videos and but the point is when you watch the video you understand and but the moment you know uh, you're not watching and you are trying to apply those skills in your office you really have a very difficult time so let's go ahead and you know let's uh, let let us understand these loops one by one the basic and this is entirely a basic part right if you understand this then any video you will watch be it my channel be it on any other channel you know you will definitely enjoy those videos and this is going to help you a lot in your programming as well right so let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about this but uh, first of all i want to tell you that these are all the basically the playlist here which i have created if you're watching my channel for the first time you we have uh 218 you know 218 actually videos on excel excel vba ms Excel, and, and ms access vba you can uh, you know find out all these subject lines and you can click on any of the subject line and you will find the videos related to that subject line right so if you are looking for the loops then i must tell you that this is basically you need to click on this excel vba loop example and uh, you will find here all these loop examples videos and the series which we have started this starts with this the basic of for next loop part one part two part three part two and part three i haven't added it but the, by the time you are going to watch this video you would see here you would be seeing here I mean, you you know you will be seeing here all these series part one part two part three so just go ahead and enjoy those videos right uh, so this is going to be the part four and uh, in this video we are going to actually talk about the do loop it's not the for next loop uh, unlike uh, my previous video so where actually we use the do loop this is what exactly i'm going to talk about right so it is entirely different from the for next loop so in the do in the do loop uh, do loop is uh, entirely different uh, from the for loop and this do loop basically works with the condition right so how you write the syntax basically you write here do and uh, then you know you write the do while and then you give the condition condition goes here and then you know the loop is here and within this line your vba syntax goes vba code goes here so whatever the condition you're going to apply here it is going to run it until it you know meets that condition so this is do while and loop these are the basic words these are the vba keywords right not the basic words I, I beg your pardon but they are actually the vba keywords and you will have to use it right so now for example in this example let me uh, run the loop and we want to run this loop uh, till the time we do not find any blank cell from the beginning from the cell a1 let's say this is what exactly we want to do so how you can actually do this right because this is going to be the basic video on the do loop so um, i'm I, i'm not going to really give you a very you know high fi kind of example not really any uh, tough example let's just keep it very simple let us see that how you can actually go to uh, you know uh, from one cell to the another cell using this do loop so as i said that we are going to run this loop till the time we don't see any blank cell the moment it sees the blank you know we should stop the loop so how are you going to run this so in this case uh, let me just insert the module here okay so we're going to write here do and we're going to write here do blue example and there we go now the first thing as i said what you need to write you need to write here do and do you write you need to write here do while okay the condition will go here which i'm going to write here so the condition here okay and the next thing which we want to write here is because this is not a vba word that is why it is giving the error but we'll rectify it right so this is how basically your the code looks here code you know should look like here we're going to write the code right so now what is the condition first of all do while and loop they are the vba keywords you will have to write it the only thing is what is important is now condition how will you write the condition so if my condition is that you know that the loop should run until it finds the blank cell then this is how we can write do while active cell dot value is not equals to blank simple right you're supposed to run this loop till the time you do not see any blank cell the moment you see the blank cell just stop the loop stop the macro 
right not stop the macro but i mean in this case it is going to stop the macro because we haven't written anything after the loop forward right now the important thing is that so uh, obviously now once you're going to start your code so let's say we are going to be on the sheet 2 okay and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start it with the a1 dot select right this is how we write right so once we are on the a1 cell then we would like to see that where exactly we are now you see guys if you're going to run this code right away if you click on the f5 your excel will crash because this is going to take you to the infinite loop because you see if if i let me show you let's go now look at this your cursor will move to the a1 now this says that the active cell value has to be what you are supposed to run this till the time you're not finding the blank cell so you see every time the active cell dot value will hold 45 which is not a blank so if it is not a blank then you are saying that root keeps running this loop so eventually what will happen you you will have the endless you know this loop infinite loop it is not going to you know it is going to out, go out of the control now i have a f8 on that is why i am able to show you right look at this the moment i press f5 this loop will go on and on and you will not be able to control it right so that is why you know if you have if you would have heard this statement from the programmers that while running the loops always be very cautious okay use f8 and then first you know go through each and everything and then only you know you should be moving to the f5 so if you have made a code like this and you forgot to uh, you know do some changes important changes because of which your loop is now has gone into the infinite mode maybe your excel will crash i'm not sure whether it will be able to recover or not you know but in my cases most of the time it never recovers the value so i will have to write the code again <laughs> right so <laughs> please avoid this it's very irritating trust me because you do a lot of efforts when you prepare the code and at the end of the day then you know because of just one silly mistake uh you know uh, you run it and the loop goes in the infinite mode it is really not going to stop so now what is the solution so obviously um we, now what we're going to do is we are going to let me first reset the code so because we uh, before the loop starts we are on the a1 cell so here what i'm going to do um, i'm going to increment this one by one so i'm going to say that from the active cell move one cell down offset it by the one row on the same column so column is going to be zero dot select now look at this what will happen so side by side my cursor will also move so the cell selection will also move right so let's go ahead and there we go now what is the value in the active cell you know it's 45 right because we are starting it from the a1 it is not empty obviously so it goes to this line now from here it moves one row down on the same column that's why we have written zero for the column it comes to the 67 now what is the next thing is the 67 blank obviously not this is active cell dot value so now the value from the 45 is changed to 67 because of this line which says that active cell dot value obviously it is not blank so again it goes to the next cell right and then again the loop is going to rerun this because you haven't found yet you know the blank cell and this time obviously you know that now this is also going to 65 so 67 is now 65 is it blank obviously not right we know that so this is going to be now you know going to select the next cell now in the next cell what will happen you see that it is blank empty so is this cell not equals to blank of course it is it is equal so here your condition actually is going to be in the false mode so once your condition is going to fail you can imagine what is going to happen right like in the for next loop what happens it immediately goes to the you know after the next in the same case here it will go now after the loop so what will happen this line is not going to be executed and your macro will finish so this is the difference between the for next and the do loop in the do loop you know you have the criteria, and in the for generally you write that how many times it is supposed to run right now i can change this for you uh, let's say let's just enter some value here now let us see when it is going to stop right so we can quickly run this let me press f8 and there we go we are on the a1 cell and you know same condition so look at this the cell is moving i hope you're looking here on this excel the cell is moving and you know the loop is running it's running it will never stop it will stop only here now you got what you got the blank value and look at this it is empty and the loop stops right so that means if i let's say increment if i just drag this button let's say here you see that oh i don't know what is it I just uh, let me just cancel it <laughs> God, don't know why it came but that's fine now you see it is 86 so I'm gonna run this loop okay and you see that where it is going to stop right so let's just go ahead and run this loop 
okay there we go you see that guys your cursor is moving right it keeps on moving you see that it keeps on moving so this is how you know the loop works actually now let me just slow down here and there we go there we go now this is the last time i hope right if the loop is correct and there we go as expected the loop is finished so this is how exactly your do loop actually you know do while loop works right so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, now you can go ahead and watch all those amazing videos on the loops because we have got the clarity on the for next uh, watch my all previous three parts and this is the first part on the do loop so let me know what you think about this and uh, i will be back with some more you know exciting video very soon and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and you can you you must be seeing the link on the you know right bottom corner of this and be a part of this awesome training program thank you so much guys and have a wonderful evening